Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max from Max Creation. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider supporting this channel by subscribing to this channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell and don't forget to click the subscribe button because it will always be very important to be updated whenever I upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at uh, a question that is also asked over time. How much is the security guard paid in Qatar? How much or how much, what is the salary of security or what is the salary uh, in secure uh, salary paid in Qatar? Yes. In this question, we are not going to look at individual individual companies. We are going to look at the general salary. What you expect when you come as a cleaner, when you come as a trolley boy, when you come as a technician, when you come as a security guard, what do you expect as salary? What is the startup salary? Remember, we are not going to consider overtime, but we are going to look at the salary and what other benefits are accrued or what other benefits you are supposed to get. Yes, when you look at the salary in Qatar, remember in March 2021, the government gazetted introduced what we call the minimum wage in the new labor law. And that minimum wage, minimum, minimum wage, minimum wage, it stated that all employees should have what you call a basic salary of 1,000 if you work for eight hours. And you should have 300 Qatarian, that is for the food allowance. That's if, if the company provides food for you, which are three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and supper, that means if you work eight hours, you are only accrued to what you call the basic salary of 1,000. But remember, if the company is not giving you food, that means at the end of eight-hour duty, you are going to get a basic salary of 1,300. If you're a cleaner, you're a security guard, you're a technician, that is going to be the startup of salary. For unskilled labor, we are looking at unskilled labor. The construction part of it all. That is going to be your basic salary. Let no one deceive you. That is already gazetted. March 2021, it was gazetted. And that is what is supposed, that is according to the new law that we are moving on. Basic salary, 1,008 hours. If you are given food, then you get 1,000. If you are not given food, then you are being given 1,300 cut That is the basic startup salary. Excluding overtime. Because each, when we talk about overtime, each company has its own overtime calculation. So, what are other benefits that you are entitled to? You are entitled to accommodation. In case your company does not give you accommodation, which is so much rare to unskilled labor, they normally give them accommodation. But if the company is not giving you accommodation, you will be getting 1,300, then you add 500, which is supposed to be for accommodation, so you get 1,019, or you get 1,900. But remember, most of the companies in Qatar, they do give what you call accommodation. So meaning that the other benefits that you are supposed to get, you are supposed to get accommodation, you are supposed to be given transportation, you are supposed to be given medical health care. Remember, for the medical health care, you're supposed to have what you call unhealthy card for you. Unhealthy card, it will enable you have what you call uh, treatment or made, uh, what you call subsidized treatment which is not beyond 10 real, but you need to have what you call an health card. And that health card is supposed to be given to you uh, by what you call your employer. It covers up your health insurance. Then also, you are supposed to be entitled, you are also supposed to be ent entitled to, to laundry. Some, some companies are giving free laundry. Some companies do give free Wi-Fi to, 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 to their workers. So that is all those are some of the benefits that you are accrued to or some of the benefits you expect. If you get to a good company, you will get the transport, you will get the accommodation, you will get, uh, you will get, uh, you get Wi-Fi, you will get laundry done for you. All will be done for you. That's a good company. But remember, there are also bad companies that you may fall to a company whereby you will, you will get the transportation, you will get the accommodation, but you may not get laundry. You're not getting, getting the Wi-Fi, all those things you need to, to, to pay them yourself. And some companies do not give healthy card. So it will just be an individual initiative for you to look for that health card. Because accessing what you call a private medical health system here, healthy uh, treatment, is very expensive. 
So the only way you need to have is what you call, uh, you need to have what you call the government medication, which is subsidized by you having what you call a healthy car. If you cannot get an health card, you can just go to the hospital, the Hamad Corporation Hospital, process the access card with your cut ID, get the receipt, give it to your company to refund you back the money. Because you don't expect them to sit and give it for you. Then something that you need to know, another benefit, you will have a free ATM card that is being provided by the company. Normally those ATMs are five years expired. So those are some of the benefits that you expect to have. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. It's Mix from the Next Creation TV. See you again in another video.